Our materials for this experiment are iodine solution, a pipette or a dropper, a funnel, about 20 milliliters of starch solution, about 500 milliliters of water, a paper towel, and dialysis tubing. So let me move these out of the way real quick. What I did was I took the um, dialysis tubing and I just cut a small section off. If you can tell here, you can hear the crunch of it. It's not a very pliable material, um, but if you know anything about dialysis, that's whenever you clean the blood because you're, you're, or you filter the blood, your kidneys can't, don't do a very good job of it. So we take all the blood out, filter it using this kind of tubing, and then pump it back into your body. So um, on either end, so there are tiny holes all throughout this uh, tubing. Also at either end, it's open right now. Um, and that's important because in a minute I'm going to tie it off. So in order to get it to work the way that I want it to work, I'm going to take this water and I'm just going to push this tubing down into the water. And I'll let it sit for just a second, but you can see how it changes whenever it hits the water. So whenever that liquid comes into contact with the tubing, it becomes a whole lot more pliable. It's a lot more flexible. That noise, let me dry it off real quick. That noise that you heard, the crinkle, it's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one end, let's see which one will open easier, and I'm going to tie it off. You can do this with string or anything like that if you want, but I'll just tie a knot in it just like that. And then I'm going to open the other end. So because I tend to make a mess, that's why I'm using my funnel. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put it into the open end of that dialysis tubing so I can try not to make a mess. Then I'm going to take my 20 milliliters or so of starch solution and I'm going to pour it into the dialysis tubing. Okay. Just going to tie this end off. Actually, first I'm going to wipe it down with a paper towel. Try to make sure it's dry. Then I'm going to tie it off. All right. So either end doesn't matter which way. Uh, both ends are tied off. There's nothing that's going to there's no way that this stuff, the starch solution inside the tubing is going to leak unless I poke a hole in it or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm just going to, once again, dry this off really, really well because I don't want any of that starch solution to be on the outside. I want to make sure it's just on the inside. Okay. So I told you that there are little tiny perforations, little tiny pores, little tiny holes all throughout this material. But you can see that the solution that's inside, which is starch solution, uh, it's not going to leak out. It is a very, very, starch is a very, very big molecule. Put the tape on that. Um, so the pores that are in this tubing are so small that the stuff that makes up this starch solution, solution, it's, it's not going to leak. Okay, we can see that because we can shake it, we can even squeeze on it. It's, the stuff inside is not going to come out. So now that it's all dried off, I'm going to triple check. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it into my beaker of water and just let it float around there. So after that, I'm going to take my iodine solution and my pipette. And I'm just going to put, I don't know, maybe 15 drops, 15 to 20 drops of iodine solution into this beaker of water. Okay, I did 20, um, and the reason I picked 20 is just because it looks like that has really filled up the whole container. So, 
you can see that the iodine solution has di uh, dis diffused all throughout that water. And now instead of being clear, um, the water is sort of orangish, so, which is the color of iodine. So that is all I'm doing for my setup. I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours and then we will come back tomorrow and we will check out our results.